Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation, a ray of hope coming from Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Let me invite you to pick up a Bible and turn with me to John's Gospel, chapter 15. Today we'll be looking at verse number 11. Get a cup of coffee. Let's sit together and have an encounter with the Creator of this world. Well, hallelujah. What better way to get a good day started than a fresh cup of hot coffee and a word from God? Well, friend, over in John 15, 11, the Bible says here, These things have I spoken unto you that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full. Today, I want to bring to you a thought that I've titled God's Joy. You know, as uh, we enter Thanksgiving Eve, uh, we have so much to be thankful for. And one of the greatest things that you and I can be thankful for is to know with certainty that God loves us and that he's in control of all things that concern us. He's at work in our lives in a powerful way. In fact, my friend, we need to proclaim it out loud that God is active on our behalf and that we'll trust in him completely. It's always important for us to confess this because when we look at all of our troubles apart from his intervention, it'll cause us to be disheartened, realizing that we don't have the ability to overcome them on our own. Oh, but friend, when we fix our eyes on the Lord Jesus who defeated sin and death and rose from the grave and rules all of creation, we see that our problems are nothing to him. Nothing touches our lives without his permission. And he ensues all that will work together for our good. He ensures that. In fact, my friend, he uses our difficulties to prepare us for the great plans that he has for us in this life. Can anything give our heart more hope and assurance than this? Our God, listen, our God is sufficient for every circumstance that we'll ever face. And he leads us to become more than conquerors through him. Truly, he is the unshakable source of all our joy and is fully worthy of our praise. The Bible tells us that the joy of the Lord is our strength. And friend, you and I are blessed beyond measure and we ought to give him a prayer of thanksgiving every day because he is the source of all our hope and the hope of joy that gives us that strength that we need to carry on. We should uh, thank him for leading us in a victorious way every day. We have a wonderful hope in Jesus because he gives us true joy that is our true strength. Pray with me. Father, thank you so much that the joy of the Lord's our strength and help us always uh, Look strongly for the joy of the Lord and help us live out that joy every day in our life as you live that through us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friend, I do pray that you'll let the joy of the Lord strengthen you. God bless you. Make a difference in your world today. Have a wonderful day.